Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 35th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the switch statement. The switch statement is one of the several decision making constructs that C provides us and uh, in this course we've already checked out quite a lot of decision making constructs. We've seen the if statement, the if else statement, the if else ladder and also the nested if else statement. So there are a lot of ways of doing uh, one thing and uh, switch offers a very cool alternative to the if else construct. So we're going to see the syntax of switch uh, in this tutorial and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a program that's going to be a four function calculator and what I mean by that is we're going to ask the user to enter uh, a character and uh, basically we would be expecting the user to input the operator that has to be applied to two numbers. So we're going to have two numbers in our uh, program I'm going to uh, you know have two floating point numbers and uh, I'm going to name the variables initialize them and then based on the input provided by the user we are going to perform uh, you know some mathematical operation on those numbers so you know let's let's get started as you can see I've saved uh, a file using code box I've uh, given it the name switch.c on line 1 in this file I have uh, my header file on line 2 I've declared the main function lines 3 and 4 I have my curly braces and between the braces uh, we're going to type the code that's uh, required for the program so as I said we're going to have two floating point numbers and uh, I'll uh, name my variables a and b and on the next line I'll initialize them I'll give a the value 40 and I'll give uh, b the value 20 all right and uh, of course to store the input provided by the user we'll have to declare a character variable because uh, the input is going to be a character right whether it's the addition symbol or the subtraction symbol or the asterisk or the division symbol it has to be stored in the character variable so to do that I'll have to type in the keyword char and uh, then I have to give a name to my variable I'm going to call it choice on the next line I'm going to ask the user to enter some input so enter an operator right and I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement on the next line I'm going to use scanf to store the input in the variable choice and uh, of course since choice is a character variable we'll have to use the percentage C format specifier here after the second double quotation mark in the scanf function I'll type in the address of operator or the ampersand symbol and then the name of the variable which is choice and I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement and now we are going to begin our switch construct and to do that I'll type in the keyword switch and within parentheses I'll type in the name of the variable on which I want the switch statement to operate right so the input is stored in the variable choice and that's why choice goes within the parentheses in switch on the next line I'll have a pair of curly braces and whatever code the switch statement has to execute has to be between these curly braces right and we're going to have several cases based on the different values that the choice variable can take you know in your program so the first case is going to be for the addition symbol and since the addition symbol is a character we'll have to put it within single quotation marks right and as you can see I have uh, typed the keyword case and this is a part of the switch syntax and you know you must be able to observe that its color is blue right so it's printed in blue and it's the same as uh, all the keywords in the program so float is a keyword char is a keyword switch is a keyword and all these are printed using the same color after the single second single quotation mark of the addition symbol I'll have to put a colon and uh, after this colon I can type in all the code that I want to be enclosed within the periphery of this particular case right so I'm just going to have one printf statement and uh, this printf statement is going to display the result of the addition uh, operation uh, you know for variables a and b so result and then I'll uh, have to type in the percentage f format specifier because the result is going to be off floating point as well and uh, then after the second double quotation mark I'll type in a plus b and I'll put in a semicolon to terminate this statement and since I do not want the other cases to be executed after this case finishes its execution I would have to put in the break statement here and 
I haven't discussed the break statement in this course thus far. I'll uh, discuss it in another tutorial, but break just allows you to move out of your switch construct, you know, once you are um, finished working with a case, right? On the next line, I'll type in case again, and within single quotes, I'll type in the subtraction operator, and uh, I'll put in the colon after this. And on the next line, I'm going to have printf, and we're pretty much going to do the same thing uh, within uh, a pair of double quotation marks. I'll type in result, a colon, and the percentage F format specified. But after the second double quotation mark, I'll type in A minus B. Right? So you must be able to observe that there's a pattern that we, we are having here. And, uh, you know, I would uh, just copy this entire thing and uh, paste it two more times for the remaining arithmetic operators the multiplication and the division operators and uh, I'll have to obviously make some modifications I'll have to put in the asterisk symbol here in plus of the subtraction operator and here I'll have to put in the division symbol right and what if the user inputs something that is not covered by any of these cases right what if the input is some other character or some number or some alphabet or you know some special character you know some function key or something then it, for such a case you also have to include a default case right so this would this case would be executed if none of these cases are executed right and uh, I'll print something uh, like invalid input for this particular case I'll put in a semicolon to terminate this statement and of course since this is the last case in the switch construct you don't have to put a break statement after this case right so I'll save the file. I will click on build and run to see the output. And there you go. I see the message enter an operator. So if I type in the addition symbol and press the enter key, I see that my result is 60. And that's because the value of A is 40 and the value of B is 20. And if you would add them, you would get 60. And since both these variables are of float data type, you know, the result is 60 point you know string of zeros and uh, you know you can try for the remaining operators as well so if I would uh, type in the negative operator or the subtraction operator and press the enter key you would see that the result is 20 because 40 minus 20 is 20 right and uh, let's also see what happens when we enter something else like uh, some alphabet like F and uh, if I would press the enter key then you would see that the default case gets executed and you see uh, the output in valid input so you know, switch is particularly helpful when your programs are menu driven. And what I mean by that is if you display some options to the user at the beginning of your program and if the user makes a selection of the several options that the user sees. So, you know, for such cases, switch is really very helpful. And uh, also when you know in advance how many cases you're going to have and what kind of cases you're going to have. So it's, it's different from if and uh, as if in comparison, you know, just try to be a little innovative and uh, try to experiment with the switch statement. You can do loads of interesting things with it. And uh, maybe we're going to check out more applications of it in this course. But uh, for the time being, this is all I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one in which we'll discuss something uh, interesting and important again. And uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you soon.